Crazy Diamond! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rock Podcast. I am your host, Michael, and here is my worst my British my... Harvey, what's up? This <laughs> guy. This guy. This guy. I this guy. Hate, I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, if you couldn't tell, we're doing a special episode today because we have a guest, not Callum, not his brother. No, this time, this is my friend Grace. Hello! We're gonna talk shit about JoJo. I don't that's, know any. I you, don't know anything about JoJo. I mean, um, you watched part one. I watched part one, and then that's it. It was. It was good. I could see what the hype was about, but like. Oh no! You can. You don't see the hype. Was about. I don't. Yeah. See, when you when you see what the hype's about, you mean um up into episode three, and yeah, then, and then and then and then, then, and then that, it's like, it's okay, like okay, yeah, you I know, mean, after the dog but dies. Really. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna start part two at some point. At some point. But what we're here to talk about right now, me and Harvey specifically. Mm-hmm. We're going to explain to you a major part of the series that comes around part three. All right. So, Harvey, would you be so kind to explain what we're talking about is? Well, today we're talking about motherfucking um, stands. Stands. Which is the... Which, you know, Haman in part one? Yeah. Like um, the little sun energy? That, shit, that, that oh, shit's yeah. useless. Photosynthesis useless and shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's useless. It's useless now. Yeah, it's, it's it gets like thrown no one away. cares about it now. Fuck yeah. on. You know, Fuck you know how on. Jonathan died? Yeah, just like that. Absolutely useless. <laughs> just like well, I'm not gonna. Okay, I was about to spoil don't, something. No spoilers. <laughs> okay, okay. So no spoilers, but please tell me about these stand abilities, which could have spoilers. Hey, okay. the thing is, Harvey, we're not gonna talk about what their importance in the story is. Don't you know? Don't you know? Mm-hmm. Don't you know? <laughs> don't you know? Don't you know? I don't. But please, Harvey, explain what specifically stands are. Stands are ma- manifestations of someone's willpower and their fighting, fighting spirits. Spirit. Their fighting spirits. They can um, take commonly... all kinds of forms. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. literally, there can be a stand that is literally just a ghost that oh. can punch really fast, that's oh. like brightly colored, or it can be a, a spray bottle. gun. Cool. Or a spray bottle. All or a spray bottle. Or a yeah. spray bottle. All I can think of is a Patronus from Harry Potter. I hmm. haven't read it because Harry you're Potter. stupid. No. Okay, so to explain it, ev- anybody who hasn't seen Harry Potter. <laughs> Which is both me and mine. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. So, yeah, so Patronus is a spell that protects you from a Dementor, which is like, it feeds off your fear. Mm-hmm. So basically to cast the spell, what you have to do is you have to think of you know, you have to think of a really powerful, really happy memory, and you need to focus on that, and you cast your Patronus, and it's like this big guard dog, and, but unlike what you just described to me, um, a Patronus is one animal that represents you, so for example, Harry's was, I think, a stag. A phoenix? I would say a phoenix. <laughs> D- no, Dumbledore was the phoenix. Oh. Yeah. McGonagall was three cats, mm-hmm. uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So that's kind of what it reminded me of. Except it doesn't change every time. It's the same animal. Well, something like that. Something but, like that. But, well, the thing is, I guess this is no surprise. In JoJo, it's kind of, not kind of, it's bizarrely different. I'm going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> I know you will. But punch. But, Harvey, yes. we all have pictures of what yeah. the most complicated stands are. Oh no. So, just yeah. to give you, like, the most basic one is like, oh, it can punch really fast. Wow. And maybe it can do another thing. But now, we're going to talk about some stands that are a little bit more complicated. We're gonna bizarre. Go, we're gonna, wow. Oh, bizarre. Hey. I hate both of you. So, <laughs> what we're going to go, go, is go, 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 me, and then Harvey's going to show his. So, I, what we're going to start off with, I'm going to, we're using Discord because we're noobs. Um,. <laughs> I've never heard the word noob oh, since like two, mate. since like two thousand nine. Okay, so All right. first of all, we're gonna start off. Is with, that a gun? It's a gun. It's Emperor. literally a gun. Oh. Dot PNG. <laughs> dot PNG. I... That's the most important part. Oh, oh hell so, yeah. Harvey, would you be so kind to explain what mm. Emperor is? That's the a em- gun. The Emperor. The Emperor's um is a very is a very complicated stand. Oh yes, very um, much so. Very very hard to understand, but. Basically, with get get this, IQ, get this. All right. You push the trigger, yeah. and it shoots a bullet, and you can control, control the, the bullet. bullet. Oh, 
I was about to say. All, I was about to say, Jojo, buy it, a gun. That's all. And it that's is. all it is. Oh, it's very good. complicated. It's super complicated. You know, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around this. I need to go watch some Rick and Morty to clear my mind. Shut your face. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Never wasn't. It was pretty complicated, but we got some other ones. Hey. So. Is that Spider Man? <laughs> Oh wait! Not really, but so King, here we have King Crimson. King oh. Crimson. Oh. Harvey. Oh no! What? Would you be so? What kind? is that? I think he's uh, ice cream. <clears throat> okay, so King Crimson's ability mm-hmm. is to erase time. Well, now before you explain, what do you think that means? Erase time. <laughs> um, you take a period of time and get rid of it completely, and it would probably alter everything else and fuck shit up. That's actually not a bad way of explaining it i'm a genius holy shit i thought that was gonna be much harder you thought i was gonna be like uh dur, time go bye bye <laughs> but yeah king crimson like let's take an example he has no nose most stands don't have a nose <laughs> star star platinum has a nose well okay well star platinum we're gonna we're not gonna talk about here but basically that's I, the third jojo stand the third one the gay one no, that's Josuke. Okay. <laughs> Jotaro is a completely different one. But okay, anyways, okay, okay. King Crimson. Yes. It can stop time. But Carvey, doesn't King Crimson have a second ability? Oh, no. Oh, oh. <clears throat> okay, you see the you see the thing on his head. His his second face. That's Yeah, that's pretty <clears throat> terrifying. Um, That is known as Epitaph. And what Epitaph can do... <clears throat> Let me just clear my throat. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very complicated. Super I have to have a high so IQ. complicated. High, I mean, high IQ to explain Jojo's Man Mans has a second face. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus um, man. But the, the second face, mm-hmm. okay, Epitaph, um, can basically see the future. Wow. Um, <laughs> and so, if you have an ability to um, skip time and also see the future, mm. you could basically see what would happen if and you... then just... And then, yeah, see what would happen in the future, and then just cut that part out. And, spoilers, this is the stand of the main villain of part five. I'm not going to say who he is or what okay. he looks like. Okay. But he loses. <laughs> so, yeah. even with I a mean, stand like this. There's like 16 JoJo, so I wouldn't be surprised if the villain lost. Why is 16? The, every time we Because I'm turning 16. Happy birthday to me in April. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. We have. We have George, we have Jonathan, we have, Jonathan, we have, we have George, Joseph, we have George, J- Joseph, Joseph, we have Josuke, we, we have, have Jotaro, G- isn't there a girl one? We have Josephine? Jolene, we Jolene. have Jolene, Jolene. Mm-hmm. We, the, well, then we can stop there, because spoilers. Oh, darn. So, yeah. Is he gonna die? Uh, nothing. Um, so, <laughs> next one is this little friendly fellow. I'm terrified already, I can't even tell what that is. This is the stand known as D4C. Okay. Or Oh boy. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. D- I think I f- I think you mean filthy acts done at a reasonable price. I hate you. I so want it to load. the context is is that with every stand reference in JoJo, they're gonna have to censor it in the anime because copyright. Mm-hmm. Because it's a song reference. Is that a robot furry? Honestly, <laughs> that really does kinda <laughs> seem like it now that I look at it, but the censored name of D4C is oh. Filthy Axe at a Reasonable Price. So naughty. Very, very naughty. Very kinky, in fact. Oh, gross. But well, at a reasonable price. At a so reasonable, at a reasonable price. price. It's a good so It's very chip. It's so, very good. So he's a robot furry prostitute. Exactly. You are yeah, stealing that, all ability, of this. <laughs> Harvey, he's a hoe. That's his ability. Would you be so kind to explain what D4C does? Yes. All right. So D- D4C... Like, mm-hmm. what it, it allows the user to, um, if another surface is blocking them. So, um, say you have a duvet or a sheet mm-hmm. and you put it over you. That, sh- when you put it over you and then go to a floor, you can go to an alternate universe and you can just, like, basically, like, you could just go to an alternate universe. And, however, Hundreds you have also of the spe- of them. Yes. However, so, you have the special you have the special property of mm-hmm. if you bring an object from another universe and bring and bring it to that universe, the objects will basically collide together and like two it, like it gets two spun like two sponges going together and imagine those sponges melting into each other. 
and, and then, then it just gets destroyed. Um, you know, that's a bit puzzling, though, because mm-hmm. like, wouldn't that also mean your cl- would, would that also mean your clothes um <laughs> get destroyed? Well, we have seen a couple of characters that have gone through what D4C can do, and we're not gonna spoil that. Right also, now. also you can trans you can transfer um D4C to another version of you. Yes. Oh damn. Um, so and then and then that version of yeah. you would have the same ideals as the past the same version memories. of you. So, yeah. say if you're about to die in this Im- dimension, uh-huh. you use D4C, so I can tell you're so, bored. No, I, I'm not, I'm just, I, 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 so I stopped until 12. You go into another dimension, and right before you die, mm. basically, the alternate version of you is caught up on everything that happened. Oh, yeah. So now, the alternate you has all the memories and knows what to do, what its mission is. Oh, so it's like reincarnation. Kind of. Kind of. Would you say, is that how it is, Harvey? Yeah, well, not exactly reincarnation, but because who who's to say the person like you transferring the memories is you? Wait, sorry, hold on for. But anyways, that's dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. So now, <laughs> oh boy, goodbye. Are, we, are just... you even ready for this? Heavy um, weather. For, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, indeed. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Heavy I'm gonna, weather. <laughs> I, I'm so I'm so glad that I have to explain heavy weather. Oh, I am oh, so boy. glad that you do. Is it? What? Um, oh, oh boy. Um, it's a, um, is it gay? Um. <laughs> well, if if you if you think touching a rainbow, then thinking you're a snail, and, and, and the sometimes of a snail, and and sometimes becoming a snail is gay. That's pretty then gay. Yes. Yeah, then that's it's pretty gay. Pre- it's a pretty. It's pretty gay. It's pretty gay. Basically, See, I've, I've, if you touch, if you touch the rainbow, mm-hmm. you not, you not only some, sometimes you become a snail, but sometimes mm-hmm. you just think you're a snail. However, <laughs> if you're blind, then you won't be affected at all for some reason. Yeah, that's never explained. Because you can't see the world as a snail. I'm a genius. I would put up the meme of the guy putting up a finger to his forehead. <laughs> hey, I'm but... so that was that was a lot easier to explain. Than yeah, honestly, I thought, I thought that was gonna be harder, but hey, it's heavy so, weather. I now, don't... Harvey. Oh, continue. I've understood almost anything you've thrown at me. Okay. Michael, when it comes to JoJo. Okay. I understand it. Oh. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Drop my mic. I see where the show is going with this, but I don't think until we get to the moment where this heavy weather is used, I will never understand why JoJo has this urge to touch the gay and become a snail. Well, the picture that I put up is the six JoJo, Jolene. Oh, she's and thick. And she's probably the gayest one. Lesbians. 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 That's the girl she shipped with the most, by the way. That's how it. Hermes. Hermes. Now, um, Hermes is Harvey, I like- what stands did you bring up? Did, did I get? Yes. Well, since this is um the Rokakaka podcast. Oh, um, no. I, uh, I, deci- with this. I decided um, to get someone from part A. So, Mike, will you explain... Miligo man. Oh, <laughs> dude, I don't even understand. Looks like a razor. He looks like something that a man would use to shave his face with. Like that pattern? <laughs> Miligo man. Miligo man. So, He's scary. from what I remember in the arc that this stand appeared in, yeah, the character of this arc that's the center focus mm-hmm. gets like mil- almost a million dollars. Cool. And he tries to like put it somewhere safe so he doesn't like just all spend it at once. All right. But he keeps getting money like nonstop. He can't get rid of it. None of it. So he keeps getting just... it over and over again. And he, fuck, Harvey, help me out here. <laughs> Basically, um, okay. say 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 you know you're the real boo at heart and mm. you happen to get Miligo man, and so you really want to buy that that cute cute ass idol figure because yeah. you're fucking trash so, so big you, you, girl. Buy, you yeah you buy the figure but then you bump into someone and there's like oh damn you're such a nice guy so i'm just gonna give you here's the, all the money as well the same class as that anime figure but also i gave you two times the amount 
And I'd so, buy another idol figure. More boobies, the yes. better. Yes, <laughs> but da- but Dan, but Dan, you just keep getting money. Oh. Some, and sometimes the money would just multiply it by itself until eventually the money just fucking kills you. Like imagine having like your money in a room, mm-hmm. and imagine that just multiplying until you just like suffocate. Yeah, in a until room you're pretty much money. suffocated in this room. So like it's room like very like big, it seems like ha- like having Milligo Man at first seems like. The That's best cool. fucking thing ever. Like, wow. Well, like, I can afford that but, Cheeto that looks like a harambe. Remember that thing? <laughs> I <laughs> but, <hate> you. Like, <laughs> uh, another, another thing with the money, mm-hmm. the money would always have the same code. Because you know how money, money has, like, different codes to make sure it's not yeah. being fraudulent? So you can, yeah. So it would have the same code. So you would either, A, probably get arrested... For have, like, having duplicate money. Or B, you just die because you have so much money. However, would, the good re- thing about Milligo Man mm. is that if you if you have it, you can give it to someone else and you won't you will be cured of the curse. Yeah, you, Kill him with kindness, be... kinda. So, so, if like, you here's say... A, if you... Here's a million dollars. I hate you. I hope this money chokes you and kills you. Pretty much. Yeah. It's just, just, like, just like you drop your wallet. Drop your wallet on the street and then it's like, oh, thank God. I'm free. I'm fucking free. <laughs> I can f- finally. I, I fuck man. Fucking Splatoon two. I much more prefer love than money. <laughs> if I if two. I had this money, I would buy my own um Callie and Marie Pearl and Marina, and they would live with me. Yeah, and I would just get get Pearl and get Callie. Pearl and is throw best the girl. fucking I love trash. Pearl. P- oh, Wait, you God. hate Pearl and Marie. Uh, no, I love Marie. I hate Pearl. I love Marina, but I hate Callie. Oh God, I love Marina. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Milligo Man. Now, so, Harvey, what other one do you have for me? Uh, no, okay. continue. I was going to say, I understand the money thing, but why does he look like that? Why does this... Uh, all stands, usually they don't have anything, mo- a lot of the time. They don't have, they anything, don't have anything to do. to do with their powers. I was going to say, then why is there a scary Cyclops cyborg man with a fucking razor. The thing is, we never actually get to see an actual depiction, like, other than that, this one flashback scene, we don't mm-hmm. actually get to see a physical depiction, depiction of Milligan yeah. Man. This oh. is the only picture of Milligan Man we ever Just get. Just weird man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, By the what's way, the next um, one? Mike, h- h- here you go. Have fun. It, please explain to me Sky High. Is that a... Sky High? Is that a... Fr- that looks like a... Fr- Frog. Oh no 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 no! Is no, it like no. a living herpy? No 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 no! <laughs> I don't you get sky high. I don't. That's like I the don't. worst no, thing in part at, six. I, uh uh. So, oh, actually, so no, Dragon's Dream is, but whatever. Dragon's Dream. Um, but I think it's originally how I thought this was gonna go. I mm-hmm. thought I was gonna be explaining these, and you picked really complicated stands, and I was like, shit. <laughs> I, I can't I don't want to be the fucking person I gotta step who gets it up. Sim- No, yeah. I was like I don't want to I don't I don't want to explain simple stands. I'll look like a fucking cop out. It's not <laughs> like it's not like when Mike said let's do this podcast today. I I didn't look up at any stands and I just went to the JoJo Wiki 30 minutes yeah, just before like, the podcast. Uh... So, okay, before you start explaining this to me, I don't know what animal this is. It looks like a frog with a bird for a head, and then there's a thingy that looks like an eyeball. He's got some weird ass long leggies. But then the green part, the green part on the back, it looks like a toenail. Or a oh, you, re- you, re- you wish this was more simple than explained than what it looks. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh frick. no. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Explain. You know what? Explain weird. I'm gonna be copping out here. Oh, I'm no. gonna go to the JoJo Wiki. Don't go to the Wiki. <laughs> I'm, go. I'm, I'm gonna go, go Wiki. I can't remember this fight. The only thing I remember about this fight is that Jolene set herself on fire to That's defeat hot. the enemy. That's get it? Literally... Get it? That's hot. It would be hot. It'd be the sickest burn Jolene's ever done. Oh! Hate, oh shit! I love and hate both of you. Yeah, Michael's in love with me. No, don't tell <laughs> what anyone. The frick? Yeah, don't tell anyone. What the freak? What the freak? Okay, okay, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm gonna cut this part out for. Some, but, no, but no, no. By the way, Sky High. But, by the way, I, I've been on the wiki the entire time, and oh, I still well, haven't used it. Shoot. Oh, okay. so you're not a cop out. Okay. Or, or you both are. Sky High. I, I haven't used it yet. Sky so. High functions as a tool which allows Rickiel, the stand user, to control mm-hmm. the mysterious cryptids known as rods. Are, are those green thingies rods? It is surprisingly powerful you and wish. deadly, as Rickiel can create localized illnesses from afar. 
with the evasive rods. So the power of Sky High is linked with Rikio's shifting confidence. And while it is inoffensive and even harmful to its user at worst, a confident Rikiel can masterfully use Sky High to almost kill two stand users of Jolene and Hermes caliber. Hermes caliber. What? Rods, also called Skyfish, rods are obscures transpar are obscures transparent rod-like creatures that do not belong to any known family of species, and live in remote locations. Thus, their very existence could never be fully proven. So, this is sky high. I don't understand. Is is that a rod? No, it's that's it, not a rod. But then, how could he use it if it's untraceable to the human eye? And I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> Neither do I. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Harvey, do you have any input on this? Please. Uh, um, part six is a okay -ish part. Um, the origin, the origin of the rods is actually due to faulty camera equipment. Oh. Because <clears throat> the origin of the rods is basically, it was some, like, underground trip, and they had cameras, and they kept se <laughs> seeing these rods on the camera footage. Yeah. So they thought that their, their cameras just caught an unelusive being from the human, which the human eye could not see. Yeah. But in reality... The, it was just the cameras were re really shit on FPS, so they were just they were just catching flies flying around, and the FPS was I'm not, it was either the FPS or the video quality was so bad that I made it look like they were flying rats. Oh. I guess I learned myself some today, so that's fine. Now I guess to calm things down, maybe as a one last thing, we should explain a rather simple stand. Oh, oh to. Get my mind off this uh, terrifying do, 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 do creature. I, do I do I have to look for a simple stand? Any stand you can think of that's more simple than sky high. Please. I think. Yeah, I'm. Kinda I, lost I, I think. There. I think this one should be good. Okay, wait. Please do. What? Who's that? Thick Boys boy? to men? Really? Yeah. Is this is this a yeah. puberty stand? No. I wish. Um, <laughs> but this is in part four, my friend. He looks like he's sitting in a grocery bag. <laughs> he's ha a ghost. Have a nice day. Enjoy your robot, when, man. Anyways, but boys to men. Mm -hmm. So the kid who yes. has the stand, mm -hmm. after gaining it, has a hole in his cheek. Cool. And the thing is, this kid yeah. is obsessed with playing rock, paper, scissors. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before you go anywhere, when I think of hole in the cheek, I think of those commercials that, like, make you stop smoking, where it's, like, the old ladies with holes in their necks. Oh. Hi, no, I'm Muriel. I'm 62 do that. years old. That's wrong. I'm 62 years old. I've smoked ever since I was 15, and now there's a hole in my cheek, and this ghost follows me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was real, dude. Yeah, bro. No, but... So... This okay. kid is obsessed with rock, paper, scissors. All right. And every time he wins rock, paper, scissors, yeah. he takes another person's stand and sucks it into his cheek. Vor? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I really hope the he doesn't... Basically, basically the more, uh, they're given around five rounds of rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. And if the rock, paper, scissors kid wins a majority of the rounds, mm -hmm. he gets to keep their stand. So, and then, can they ever use their stand again, or does he, like, take it forever? Well, we, we don't know. A, a, we don't a stand know! Was the stand was never fully taken, yeah. so. Aww, so... poor stand. No, not poor stand. Oh. If, if the stand a, got it's taken... It's a bad guy's the, stand. Oh, oh yeah, good. Yeah, no, if the, if, <laughs> if, the, if the stand, um, the stand user in question got a stand taken away, we mm -hmm. wouldn't have, we wouldn't have great one shots. Hmm. And now I think about it, Part Four has a lot of busted ass stands that Ooh. seem yeah, really nice. powerful, and then but are underutilized. Oh. Now that I think about Part Four, is just really bad. <laughs> you say that to my face, and I will <laughs> politely slap you. Michael already part tried four. to politely slap me today. Pa pa no! Part Four, Part pa Part Four is good. Part Four is good. Better. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, you know no, what I part is better, no. Harvey? Pa I'm saying this sarcastically. Pa part two, dude. Yeah, I was just joking. Oh, me so saying, good. Yo. Oh, I get to say part two. Well, yeah. Well, you'll make your own opinion on it. Yeah. Um, but that's all the stance we have to explain. Oh, oh. The more complicated The ones. more complicated. I never want to look at Sky High ever again. Bitch Too bad, because like we're going to get to part six eventually. No! <laughs> Bitch looks like a toenail. But... 
Anyways. Alright. Or, or you could do, or you could just skip part six and not tell anyone. Exactly. Oh, is it like that irrelevant to the series? Actually, not, no, it is kind of relevant. Oh, damn it. Yeah, but still, we read all parts of JoJo. Yeah, honestly, that's the thing. That's like the main rule about JoJo. Mm-hmm. When you're caught up with the anime, this is like the number one rule. Uh-huh. Read the manga. Read the manga. Because I'm poor. I'm too poor to read manga. There's always the internet. The internet. I told you. You told times me. You read it online. I feel like I feel like the only time I can watch JoJo is with Michael because I literally will have no idea what's going on. Like I'll be like, wait, whose titties are these? What's going on? Who's t- <laughs> whose titties are these? Well, this is um, <laughs> this Billions. is um, this is uh, oh, man, part one is so forgettable that I can't even remember the characters' names. <laughs> part one. Yeah. There's I'm, there's Jonathan, there's Speedwagon, th- Zeppeli, I'm the trying, Gar- Straits. I'm, no, I'm trying to think of the girl. Elizabeth. Yeah, the, go- the girl. The blonde one. God, what's her name? Arena. Arena. No, that, that's Arena. her name. That's her name. I was thinking about this meme I saw earlier, and the girl's name was Elizabeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was a good meme. No, it was like... So, it went like this. I'm, read- I'm reading it as if... It was like from first person view. I was at the strip club the other day. And this guy asked me what my name was. I didn't like him, so I told him to guess what my name was. I told him I was named after a queen. This motherfucker said Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> and her name was Elizabeth. That's actually really good. <laughs> Latifah. Well. Well. I think we're going to have to end that here. Oh. So, Harvey, before we leave. Would Subscribe you like to- and I'll show you my ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> would you like to plug anything, Harvey? A plug. Um, question, would you want to plug anything? Um, oh, thank you very much. You oh, can follow Mike. me on Twitter at Mike Dropkin. At Mike Dropkin, thank you very much. I think you should spell your last name. I'll put it up in the video. Oh, good. Because I was going to say, <laughs> you, the way you say it doesn't sound like Mike it. Mike Dropkin, it's yeah. D-R-A-V-K-I-N. It's like Mike, oh shit, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, shit. <laughs> But Harvey, would you like to plug anything? Because I know you do. Uh, so sometimes, sometimes I stream on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, very rarely. Rarely. Sometimes. Do I get a plug? Well, what do you have? I have Instagram. I draw pictures. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll put it up in the okay. Video. Okay. Follow me at Honeycomb Draws. I like to draw chickens. Like, there's an unnecessary amount of chickens on my page. Well, good chickens. Good chickens. <laughs> I think. Wait, I want to tell Harvey about the chicken heads now. But well, well, afterwards. Afterwards. Thank you. Afterwards. Well, all right. That was an epi- end episode. Definitely. Of the Rogue Cup podcast. This was fun. Ho- and we will see you guys. Probably not, but you, me, and Harvey will see you on the fourth episode next month. Wait, Harvey. Now that I think about it. Oh yeah, there's a new fucking one shot coming out in five days. Oh. I wish I knew Wait, is, is, is the Vohan one shot really coming out that soon? It's coming out in t- f- four days. Never mind. So, Dang. Dang. Nice. We're going to have to shoot another few couple days. <laughs> so fun. Not Vohan. Really. Best well, boy. You'll find out about him soon. All right. Trust me. All right. It was fun recording with you guys. I hope I get to come back and I wasn't that annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Well, that was the episode of Okay, bye.